So you want to be an audio engineer. You want to be a producer. You want to be a musician. How are you going to go about it? Well, it's going to take a lot of hard work. But I can tell you, it is definitely worthwhile work. It's a fun industry and it's a great thing to be creative as a way of life. Why do you want to be an audio engineer, to be a producer? Is it because you love music and you want to help other people create the best music they can create? Or is it because you want to get really good at producing and engineering your own music? Well, both are great reasons, but they're very different reasons. How do you get into this industry? Well, for a long time, the only way was really to just knock on doors until somebody let you work for free for a long time. And then you could finally get a chance to sit in front of the console. Today, it's a little bit different. There is a lot of opportunities, including Dark Horse Institute, where you can get a real good education on the basics of audio engineering. So then what? Well, interning is a great place to start. Working in a studio for free, people go, I don't wanna work for free. You're not. You're being paid an experience, and that is invaluable. So what's the audio engineer do? They get the great sounds. They make sure everything sounds up to snuff according to the producer, and they don't say much. They're very quiet, they do their job, and they are great with their ears, listening, making sure everything is being recorded properly and sounds amazing. So what's a second engineer do? They assist the first engineer. So that means a lot of microphone setup, setting up mic stands, patching the patch bay, moving stuff around, getting ready for the session. There's a lot of great learning here, and it's a lot of fun. I enjoy getting to know the equipment, the patch bay, and the studio that way. So how do I get those jobs? Starting off interning, impressing people with your ability as an intern, and as always, being a great hang, working hard, making an impression as an intern is gonna get you that job. So what if you wanna be a musician and a producer, or a musician and an engineer, or you wanna be all three? Well, I do, and it's great. But to be really good at all three, you really have to get good and train your mind to learn how to switch hats. Let me show you what I mean. All right, all right, mate. It's all right, isn't it? How about, again, a little heavier on the metal and not quite so heavy on the death? Right, right. A little more death. Less metal. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think if you use like uh, some copper picks and you like tune down a half step and you use some thicker strings and maybe just pick straight down instead of back and forth like that and then maybe you'll get, I think you'll get a little bit better that more that definitely but not quite so metal-y kind of sound you're looking for, eh? Who are you talking to? Don't you know who I am? Sharon! Have you lost your bloody oh, mind? Yeah. Get out of my studio, that. you're Sharon! Fatality. Right, right, mate. It's all right, isn't it? How about, again, a little heavier on the metal and not quite so heavy on the death? Okay, here we go. Turn up the volume a little, please. That's what's up. So as you can see, each one of these guys is really good at what they're doing. They're focused in on the task at hand. So that's the important part. We can be a successful musician after we're a successful engineer or the other way around. Being a producer can come before or after, but we have to love what we're doing and focus on that and wear the right hat. As an engineer, that means we gotta be quiet, watch what's going on, be ready. We've gotta have stuff ready in advance. We've gotta learn, we've gotta soak in as much as we can without being obnoxious. If you have a question, write it down, ask it later. Gotta stay off our phone. Don't look at your phone. Put it aside. Focus on this session. Outside the studio, live, breathe, drink music. Listen to music. Listen to music. Make sacrifices. Keep your financial obligations low. If someone offers you an opportunity, be able to take it. Live cheaply. But make sacrifices where you can have a place to set up your computer and your speakers so you can work and listen to music. Collaborate, especially if you're a musician. Work with as many other people as you can. They'll make you better and you'll make them better and it's great networking. Also, read, investigate, study. Gear Sluts is a great resource. Industry magazines are a great resource. Even YouTube is full of great stuff. We're on here, but most importantly, have a great attitude. 
fall in love with helping other people achieve their dreams. And your dreams will be achieved before you know it. It's amazing how it works, but it does work that way. Dig in, love what you do, be good to other people, and before you know it, you'll be living your dreams.